out the gear, get Steven set up, go hide, text John, and we're going to kill one tonight. Oh, man. It's nice to be here in the summer. Boy, it's hot. But now I don't know what the boys do all summer. I don't get a chance to do this, so it's my time. And Mike got a new gun for me. 6.5 lightweight. Actually got a scope on it. But ain't got no ammo. I bet if he's got ammo in his truck, I shoot his ammo. And have fun at the same time. Check it out, side it in. Shoot his ammo. Call it a day. It's like a Texan. Never locks his doors or anything. Oh man, bonus day. Binos with a range finder. All right, what's this? 6.5. Hey, hey, max ammo, my lucky day. Go to range, boys. We're gonna have access sausage tomorrow or the next day. Now it's up to Mikey or Randy to get to let me see one. Well, normally we intro the hunt before we see a bunch of deer, but we got in here and we weren't even set up yet and we saw a bunch of deer. So we're trying to access hunt. I got the crossbow here. We got a really good stand set up and they just came in literally we i just got in the stand and put a bolt on and they were coming down the road and there was nothing we could do we didn't even have our camera gear set up i mean we were just in a bad spot one of those does saw some shit. like i don't think they know what was wrong but they know something was wrong and axis they're just they got a sixth sense about them they don't like being a spook really thick in there where they went. They bed in there and I'm hoping maybe they'll go in there and calm down and make a loop around us and come back. That one buck is one of the bigger bucks I've ever seen. He has a fourth point. I mean, he's... I'm gonna sit down and get quiet. Turn the thermal cell on. Right down, and then kind of 
flopped around and then went with those, where those other deer went, but I think we got him. I think I shot it for too many yards because he walked in a hole there and I, I think I just added too much to where I had ranged right there. That was intense. And we got a nice axis buck on the ground right there. I think I might've got a little lucky getting him, but I'll take it. <laughs> I love these axis deer. I mean, they are gorgeous. Look at that thing. How about that for getting some action in May? Not bad, huh? You know, May and June, you can come down here in Texas, hunt with us, SOE hunts, and have a good time, hunt some deer, and uh, you can do it with a bow or gun, or crossbow, like I did this morning with the Excalibur, and in full velvet. That's awesome, all these axes are about to rub out. They're getting so close to rubbing out, and they're gonna be rutting here pretty quick. Uh, there's, I've been seeing new rubs popping up every day. It's like November for whitetails. There are just new rubs everywhere. This guy's done growing. He just hadn't rubbed out yet, but typically by the end of May or first of June, they really start to rut real hard down here. Man, that's a beautiful deer. I got it with my Excalibur crossbow, which is pretty cool. I hit him high, uh, but man, it worked out. We got him. Get back to the lodge. And now Jamie and Uncle Randy, I got my buck. Hopefully they're on some deer this morning. I bet they are. We've got the wind in our direction, so what we're gonna do, what the main thing is, we have to stay in these oak mots to where we've got some type of cover. Okay. We just can't walk out in the open. They see like a deer, regular deer. Well, yeah, they are a deer. Oh, come on. <laughs> you worry about your best friend, but I don't know now. <laughs> All right, so I'm shooting one with the horns? Uh, the big horns? The long, straight ones. Long, straight ones? Let's do it. of them in there. Oh, there he is. He's making a scrape right there. See him licking that branch? That's cool. Man, he looks wide. He looks super wide. He's a shooter. We're gonna have to find a way to get up there though, because I don't have any shooting lanes through here. I think we're gonna have to go this way. That's a nice bug. Real nice bug. We're getting close. It's either gonna happen or we're gonna get busted, but there's nothing we can do in this thick stuff. He's right there. We just, I think he saw us. He kind of trotted off. We got too close. I don't think he knew what we were though. We got the wind. Oh, he's coming back out. He's coming back out. He's gonna walk across this opening. Is that him? Yeah. You want? Yeah. Wow, that is an axis deer right there. Man, oh man. SOE hunts hunting here in Texas, hunting these things in the rut. I'm telling you, Uncle Randy and I, this is what we love to do. We don't get to hunt them very much. I've guided guys to a ton of them and I just, I don't get to hunt them. Nice long beams, but what I like about this buck is the width. He truly is as wide as he is tall. I mean, this is a fun, aggressive, offensive hunt. Give us a call, Uncle Randy and I'd love to take you on this hunt. And that's my axis buck for the year, so I'm pretty excited about that. That's a buck. He's got good lengths, he got good tops. I'm gonna say he's over 30 inches. That's where I'm, where I'm at, I'm lower. He's a little lower than me, so all that brush is between me and well, him. I understand that, but all I'm telling you is, I believe he's over 30 inches. Okay. It's just that the other one does have better tops. But we can't see the other one right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see that. Yeah, the one to the left, guys. I can see the one to the right. He's got his butt directly to me. Shoulder shot only. I got the one in the far right. He's he's a good, you think he's a, he's a shooter though, right, Randy? I say he's a shooter. Okay. Here comes the shoulder. I got it, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> like he flopped down, did he? I'm watching him flop right there. All right, buddy. Your first axis? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Now I see why y'all do this in the summertime. Yeah, look, the little hotness is a little too much for me, but I understand this. I didn't know you could do this in the summer. This is awesome. When you got a breeze like it's blowing yeah. right now, awesome. it's not bad. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. That 6.5 did the job, did it, it not? It did it, look at that. Good job. Thanks, sir. Man, the color of it is unbelievable. That He's big body deer. He's gonna go 175, maybe a little bit more. And what is these things called again? These are the coddles, and we call these dog catchers. That's what I've always called them anyhow. Yeah. Now he definitely was heavier than that one we had to the right. Yeah. So I think we did good on that. Man, I appreciate you giving up your hunt for me today. Carl, yeah. this is uh, awesome. That is a beautiful, I think it's to... even changed colors. Maybe I'll get to play. Oh, I'm sure you will now. Savage 